Greg did such a great job, and, and I think he understood how Baker Mayfield played, how he needed his left tackle to play. And Greg was like a sponge, you know, the whole year learning from Bob Wiley, learning from those other guys in the room. And to be able to step in and play as well as he did is not an easy thing, especially at that position. And especially for a guy that's kind of bounced around the league a little bit and hadn't found his role and his niche, he did an amazing job. And I can't wait to see what he looks like next year with a full off season of preparation. I think in today's game, you know, you can't just be a quarterback on the field. You've got to be a leader in the locker room. You've got to be a guy that the team gravitates towards. And not everybody is built like that. Not everybody has that personality. Not everybody can handle that in their own way. Um, so I, I like, you know, what Baker has brought to, to that team. I like what he's brought to the city. Um, he's brought a lot of energy, which is good. Um, I think it's pretty remarkable when you look at how well the offense played down the stretch or the second half of the season. Um, you know, and I certainly give a lot of credit to the quarterback, as we always do, but lost in all that is how well the offensive line played. Um, when you look at what Joel Batonio and Kevin Zeitler did, I don't think Joel Batonio gave up a sack all year. I mean, I, he was phenomenal. Um, and, and those two guards really drove the bus for that offense. Um, I thought Greg Robinson, at left tackle, really settled in. He played some of his best football. Um, Chris Hubbard as well. You know, he started out a little shaky at the start of the season, but then really calmed down. Um, and I thought J.C. Treader did a good job uh, up front. So that, to me, is, is one of the reasons why Baker was able to make some of those big plays. He had a clean pocket. He wasn't running around. Uh, trying to buy time, uh, and that offense started to click. So you love seeing that. I, I, I like the fact that, you know, with Freddie Kitchen staying on board now, um, there will be some continuity there from a language standpoint. I think one of the hardest things to do, especially as a young quarterback, is to all of a sudden change offenses. Now I've got to change language. You spend the whole spring and the whole summer just trying to get used to the calls and the formations and the words. You're not really attacking all the minutia of, of how we're going to attack defenses. So I think they're already ahead of the curve uh, by, by having Freddie there. And, and obviously for Baker now to have a full uh, a full spring and summer, uh, I think it's pretty exciting for him and for the Browns, for, for the dog pound.